know, I had heard about the legendary Donna Paulson long before I even got here. Ms. Paulson. Ms. Paulson, could you please state your employment history prior to becoming a legal secretary? You blame witnesses? I was on a roll. I was an actress. Instead of pursuing my dream, I chose this. Is this... Were you able to make a living at that? And that let me pretend that maybe I was good enough to make it. I embody me as Ophelia. What if I wasn't? Donna, I need the... Oh, also, I didn't have a chance to. Black, two sugars, splash of vanilla. Lewis likes six sugars. How do you know that's how I take my coffee? How did you know? I told you I'm not like every other secretary. I'm Donna. I'm Donna. I know everything. Aren't you right about everybody? Is there anything I can do? Is there anything you can't do? No, there isn't. We work because I've always known that I can trust you. If anybody can convince Stu, the best candidate in the city. She's irreplaceable. You're the best thing that's ever happened to my brother. It's me, standing right in front of you. You know, it'd be easier for both of us if you were wrong every once in a while. People just don't like that he's right all the time. Remind me to fire you. Remind me to give you a raise. Standard 2% is more than enough. So I paid her more. Somewhere in the six figures. And again. Yes. And again. And again. I'm very good at what I do. If you know anything about me, you'd know that I have a reputation for solving problems, not hiding them. Call her. What are you, the apology police? Donna. Call her and apologize. Donna. Lawyers don't talk to lawyers, but secretaries talk to secretaries. What do you want to know? The merger. What do you want? Walk away. When you said that you're not a lawyer. There are players who never put up great stats. Gunslingers don't follow people who never sling a gun. But you keep them around because they make the people around them better. Good work. It's what I do. You could be. You know how they say doctors make the worst patients? Which is why I'm glad I have someone like you. You keep trying to diminish my role here. All you have is a bachelor's in theater and you were a part-time waitress, part-time actress. They may sleep with the paralegals. Who I am is a paralegal. Who knows where any of us will be in a few years. Donna. You. Scotty. Me. Harvey. Harvey. But they end up with the lawyers. I'm here. I'm a closer. Me. You're, You're here. here. You. What you do for me is, I want something more. What do you mean more? When I need something, you give it to me. I know you said you wanted more, but before you say anything... I want to be a partner. Partner? Partner? And I know what you're thinking. This is bullshit! All I'm asking is for a seat at the table. What table? The partnership table. And I gave her one. You've got to come out of the gate in command. They think you care, they'll walk all over you. Am I getting fired? He who passes the sentence should swing the sword. Or they're gonna walk all over you. How can a secretary be made a partner? You just made partner. COO is where I'm meant to be. We. I said I wanted more co-managing partners. Just made partner. And I got what I wanted. You're gonna make a hell of a COO. And speaking of not being your secretary anymore... For women, the rules are different. You have never been more beautiful. What really makes me special... Warm means you're weak. And talented. Is my intuition. She must be very special. People look at your success. My empathy. She is perfect. And label you. I just don't trust my heart. People. You know, you've never told me a story about yourself like that before. If you're strong. Sometimes it's just easier to push away the people who care about you. They think you're cold. I've never told anyone that story before. Then tell them the real story. Your time is now. They don't know the complexity it takes for a woman to succeed in this business. And you're going to kill it. Donna? I don't think you get it. There is going to come a time where you're going to have to choose between yourself. What happened to Harvey? And them. Have you ever been in a relationship that you thought would last, but didn't? Do you regret it? And I am not. Regret what? Going to let you throw your life away. Putting Harvey over this guy. Harvey Specter was your boss for a long time. She's probably worked for you for a long time. You want something. Maybe. It's not sex. Even more than your boss. You're into me. I think maybe I regret putting Harvey over myself. I'm gonna tell you what I think. What can I do for you, Harvey? Donna, it's me. And what I think is... I wanted to thank you. If you do this, for what? You're gonna keep doing it. It's not the man I want you to be. Donna. And the Harvey I know? What Harvey? And I know it's not the man you want to be. Isn't that kind of person? Thanks. Thanks, Donna. For 12 years. You really know him. You don't know this about me yet? I really do. 
but I know people. Okay, mind reader. This wasn't about a job for me. She's part of my life. It was about having a life. But I guess you wouldn't understand that. You're wrong. I know exactly what it feels like. What are you talking about? You humiliated Donna. You kept pushing and pushing her for what? For fun? He humiliated me. You're choosing what you don't have with him. In front of the entire firm. Over something that you do have with me. I am so sick of watching you fight like hell for everything that happens in here. Obviously, you don't just look at me this way. I hope someday he sees what everyone sees. You're capable of looking at me that way, but you don't want to let those worlds collide and nothing that happens in here. Because you're afraid to risk anything. I crumbled up there, and I hurt Mike's case. Harvey and Cameron made a deal to take you down, and I'm ashamed of myself. I wanted to get back at him, so just tell me you're going to make him pay. Badly. He'll okay. pay. And I wanted to be the one to do it. And part of that deal? You were the one to do it. Was that I got to be the one to tell you about it. Would you have wanted a relationship with him? You haven't said who she was. I would have wanted to try. You're talking about You know who I'm talking about. But he wasn't ready. I don't know who she was. I've always said that I want Harvey to be happy, and I do. We're trying to stay friends. We've become friends. Friends. But it bothers you. Looks like you might be becoming more than that. And I hate that it does. Mm. Do you want me and Scotty to succeed or not? Why did you help me? How can you do that? I want you to be happy. Because I care about him. We both care about him. Both sides involve someone I care about. You okay? Mm hmm Caring only makes you weak. You actually care about her. I care about this woman. All you seem to care about is you. I told you I'd never let anything happen to you. What am I not seeing here, Harvey? And I won't ever. How does all this protect you? So you don't ever have to feel scared like that again. Where do you see yourself in five years? The truth comes out. Three to five years for what? You're still on the hot seat. She'll be barred from working at a law firm for the rest of her life. And Harvey's career would have been over. He's gonna lose everything because of me. So it really is the fun between the two of you. I'm asking you as a woman. It's not a professional question. This is about me getting personal. It's a personal question. I need to talk to you. And as a professional. This thing with Donna? What is it? With Donna. I'm sure she said she was sorry. I'm sorry, Harvey. She is sorry. I know you are, but she never said it. You chose him over the firm. I'm so sorry, Harvey. Thought we were over. I'm sorry I did what I did. I can't go back and undo what happened. The reason that you two never... Why not? Because you can never go back. Sometimes you just have to take what you get. This isn't working for me anymore. Or walk away. You know, when I was a young mother... Rosalie went behind my back about a pro bono we were doing. First week of school every day, I dropped my little girl off. When I left, she cried. We got in a huge fight and it broke us up. Don't ever go behind my back again. Have you thought about what might happen when this is all over? Friday came, I left. She didn't cry. Sometimes people think they're prepared. Sometimes you just need to let somebody go. And they're not. So I did. What's that? A little welcome to the firm from your little girl. You didn't welcome me to the firm because... Something I should have given back to you a long time ago. You weren't ready to see your little girl move on. This isn't how two adults who care about each other move on. That's not all I want. You came in and you told me the love of your life was slipping away and you didn't know if you should say something to her. But you got back together. Two adults who care about each other. What does this have to do with me? Don't move on at all. Because we love each other. The message was, if you can't even separate yourself from him, you'll never have. When he's asking you to leave a job that you love? Something like that. With you, it's different. Makes me wonder if it's really the job you love after all. With me. So you know it's what we want. Harvey. But they need my help. You saying you're coming back to me? Look, I need you, Donna. Yes. Need. You just have to let me go. Need. You don't need us anymore. Now you're free to go. How did Lewis take it? Believe it or not, it was his idea. No matter where we are. We're not just colleagues or even friends. We'll always be your family. If this turns out to be the end, this is heaven. We're family. No. I love you, Donna. I want you both to know there's no one I'd rather have by my side than you. I love you, Harvey. I love you too, Lewis. The truth is, Donna. I can't be me. Harvey needs Donna more than I do. Without you. I know. Harvey and I Sorry, Harvey. Harvey. are like this. It's time. You ready to go? Can't you see? I kept my feelings inside for so long. 
The man she was meant to be with is standing right in front of her face. Someone special? When he asked me, I started picturing a life with him. When I finally got good news. You never know. You know what it means. That's when I knew you were my everything. Could be the one. That's when I knew he wasn't the right one for me. It doesn't mean that I'm ready to give you a ring. You can push me away as much as you want. I want you to know I'll still be here. I will always love you. And promise me, you also have to come to me. No matter what is going on in my life. When something <laughs> is going wrong in your life. We need to start being honest with each other. You won't feel bad about telling me all the good things in yours. About everything. Everything. You need to trust me with it. I promise. I will always love you too. You know we're going to be together forever, right?